Oh, my my me time so almost see I'm ready for two weeks, pet. And as a father who loves a child, he said, "Okay, come and stay home." And lo and behold, when I went back to Prince Bratton to write the mock examination, I emerged the best student. So I was out of Prince Bratton Memorial School, and you know that time, you have the opportunity to choose three schools. So, you know, I chose Wesley High Girls Senior Secondary School, Agri Memorial Zion Secondary School, and Oda Secondary School. So the results were in. I did so well. So I was priding myself. I'm going to Wegehe, Wegehe. And my dad came and said, School, don't see I am And I'm Mr. Dana, I agree now. I say, I know, so I'm going to see I am out. And I'm going to say, okay, da. And yeah, I mean, come a third choice. But you see, even as a child, I was with so many choices. Mostly, I was fighting my father. I, I, I never understood, but as I'm growing, I am getting to understand myself. Because I had so many life choices, even though I knew nothing. So we got to Oda Secondary School. Oda School people, forgive me. I saw a tall building, which was so old. I told my father, Mr. Peter, school where the men go. Then my dad's friend was like, I told you, let's go to Agri and see. So when we got to Agri Memorial, if anyone knows Agri, Agri has one of the biggest amphitheaters. It's a beautiful school. So as soon as I saw the amphitheater, I was like, "Da school where ya na me pe? Ah, ye be ye entertainment prefect. Ye be ye entertainment prefect. It is time for us to bring out the, the, the new entertainment prefect." And anybody following my story would know that even from childhood, I have been a daughter of destiny. So one senior who prayed so much at Agri came to me, Edu, Mahuse Omuyi Entertainment Prophet. Then your name dropped. I said, Hey, I was at Ogwa Court of First Year. I don't know anything that happens in Agri. How do I become Entertainment Prophet? She said, Anytime they mention Entertainment Prophet, your name drops. So send your letter. And with me, Growing up, I have so much faith in God. And I believe in prophecy. So, I wrote my letter and I sent it to the school. So, uh, during the vetting processes, they called us. Those who were in the school were talking terms. Oh, if they make me the prophet... I would do this, I would do that. For me, I was never at the boarding house. So I never knew what the school was about. So they called me, I said, oh, I was at the hostel, but I want to be the entertainment prefect. Like Nigerian president Tinibu, I want to be president. So I also told them, I want to be the entertainment prefect. But I was never at the boarding house. Ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity came. After the vetting, the whole school was paraded for prefect to be announced. They announced school prefect, blah, 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 blah. Then they came to entertainment prefect. Then the name was mentioned again. Regina Edu Safwa. Come and see them. You see this beautiful head? They, they said it was big that time because I was so small. So, oh, they took a CB. We know about it. Somebody posted, you know, that kind of thing is in school. So I became the head of entertainment, a science student. And again, I was intelligent and smart. So in Agri, I kept going, I 
kept doing it as entertainment prophet, organizing event, doing it as it was. Then the time came and I left Agri. I completed with my mate. So when I completed Agri, I did want to go to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology because I liked the name of the school. I just liked the name of the school. Like growing up, one political figure that I so much liked, Echo Spio Gabra. I just liked the name. I'm the, those kind of people. So I, I completed that degree. And when my resort came, there was a battle of destiny. There was a battle. But in Penyun Fosse Sebe, Yen Jina Kwaun to Tun Krane, in Tinye Bedramunebi, I met Tom Masem. But I had to leave home. So I did. And today, wherever I stand, I tell the world that that was or is my greatest blessing. So when I left home, the dream of Kwame Nkrumah University, Science and University was over. So what do I do? I had to start something on my own. So ladies and gentlemen, I started selling second-hand clothing at Cantamanto, which they call the English people are thrift or thrift or something. Those who like English, they call it thrift, but a force. So during the force selling, I was so happy with the business because you use little money to go and gather force and you make a lot of money at the end of the day. So I was so happy doing that business. Ladies and gentlemen, I was a cantamanto selling my force, doing my usual business, going up and down. I was just happy with what I was doing. So one day, there are some people called at Cantamanto, called Abaye. They seize clothing. They seize my clothing. And I had nothing to sell again. So I went in to pray because all the days of my life, I'm a woman of prayer. And I said, God, they've taken my second-hand clothing. I've told you I don't want to go into anything else. What shall I do again? So I heard the voice saying, start going to hostels, universities, all that. So during the 2010, 2012, 13, for the university, Central University, Methodist University, Talk about them, Legon, Bunny Hostel, they all knew me because I was always coming with my Ofos back. Ladies and gentlemen, during this business, anytime I go to the girls and they're having conversation, I am a person that so much believe that when you go to Rome, do what the Romans do. So when I go and they're having conversations, I don't include myself because I felt I was just an awful seller. So one day, they were talking for long. And they mentioned, because, you know, I have the opportunity through my father, Mr. Peter Kofiedu, to go to good schools. I met good people. So Akusia and friends were having a conversation. And in the conversation, Akusia called the renowned footballer, Abedi Pele's son, Rahim Ayu. So as soon as she did, I said, oh, that's my school father. She said, hey, Obi I told folks with you, oh, yeah, name Rahim Ayu. I said, no, that's my school father. Let me talk to him. So I took their phone, talking to me, and Rahim was like, ah, 
na wuni ma de sa no want to a school so e na mi see o school father me ton force no say enye hwe be ye so the first time i spoke i could say i was like ah you speak so well and you have to go on radio or tv so i told akosia that akosia i don't know anybody so that will push me to go on radio or tv so me i'm selling my phone she said no you don't need to know anybody go and use google i brought a phone back and google let me say google okay so i used google i started my thorough research then they told me that go where the game is and lucky enough i was selling at cantamanto so i i knew opera square was at the back of Canta, of rollins park so i came one day selling <coughs> and i went to Rollins Park, the producers there. I walked to Hallmark Films office and I said, Sir, I want to be an actress. The man was like, Get.